There are two types of campers in this world, the planners and the non-planners. We fall into the non-planner category. Most people would say that's a problem if you're trying to camp in Florida in winter, but we're here to tell you it just ain't so. The planners have a little bit of a benefit here because they're able to take advantage of the gorgeous state parks Florida has to offer. Most are very affordable and are in pristine, incredible locations. Well, we just decided to wing it and come to Florida anyways. We're here to tell you that there's a ton of gorgeous options that are mostly or almost all for free. There are five different districts within the state of Florida that have land management. The Florida Wildlife Commission, or FWC, as well as the water and land management for the different districts within the state. That means you can actually camp for six months in the state of Florida in the different areas, most of them being no cost. And they're gorgeous. Let's take a look around. Right now we're in Depoise Campground, which is in the Southwest Water Management District. We're just outside of Lake Okeechobee, and this campground is awesome. Not only does it have nature trails, hiking paths, and even an equestrian site, we also have met a ton of really cool campers. There's all different rigs set up here. There's tents. We even found a school bus. And we also made friends with a van that's going to be following us to another land, man land management district later today. There's lots to do here, and again, it's all free. Navigating the space and the site and finding where you can actually camp can be a little bit tricky. You have to go to the different district's websites and find out which allows your type of rig or the camping that you're desiring, because not everywhere that has free land allows you to camp, especially with a big RV. This one does allow. As you can see, you drive up, pick your spot, and relax. Most of the campsites actually have fire pits. They even have bathrooms with warm showers, dumpsters, and this one even has a dump station. Well, you do have to be prepared to dry camp, which means you're not gonna have any electrical or water or sewer hookups. There's still amenities that you have within the campgrounds. All you have to do is go online, apply for a permit, or actually send an email to make sure you have permission to stay. And there you have it, free camping in Florida. You are camping in Florida, and while it's the winter, there's no guarantee that it's going to be cool enough weather. Most days are perfect, nice and breezy during the day so you can keep all your doors and windows open and stay cool. At nighttime, it just dips into the 50s or 60s. Pretty ideal. But there are going to be days that you are dealing with very high heat, even though it's winter, and lots of bugs. So make sure you prepare accordingly, and if you're willing to deal with it anyways, you will love the free camping here in Florida. Depoy's campground was awesome. We loved our stay, but we must move on. It's a new day. We're still dry camping for free in Florida. Today we're at Hickory Hammock, which is about an hour north of Lake Okeechobee. It's a part of the Southwest Water Management District. And again, it is gorgeous native Florida camping. The camp spots are dispersed throughout the public land. You can choose a sunny spot out in the open, or you can choose a spot under the gorgeous old oak hammock. It really is picturesque Florida. That brings me to my next point. Whenever you're dry camping, please make sure to take care of the public land. We're so fortunate to have land throughout the entire nation, especially in Florida, to be able to camp at for free. So respect the area, and we like to say leave it better than you found it. Sometimes we'll come to a campsite and we find lots of trash left over from the prior camper. Nobody likes that. If you come to a spot like that, just make sure to pick up some trash. And if you have your own trash, make sure it goes where it belongs. Also, be respectful of other campers. Sometimes you have the whole area to yourself. It really is perfect. Other times you're a little bit closer to the campers than you might like. 
Just make sure to keep your noise down and be as respectful as possible so everyone can enjoy this beautiful land. Have fun camping.